So today I have something a little bit special to show you guys. These are field watches from Formex. Now Formex have just recently sort of uh, sent these out to reviewers. I don't think that they have actually announced anything yet as of when I'm making this video. However, towards the end of January, I think this is when the video that I'm making right now will be released. These will obviously be released as well. Um, however, they sent them to me in advance to make a video uh, and I have actually been wearing them and I have to say I am very impressed. So these are their field watches. They're making a bunch of different colors. They're in a titanium case. They're 41 millimeters. I always say this about Formex. Generally, I call them a micro brand, but they're really like an independent micro brand, a micro independent brand. It's kind of a word that I sort of coined myself, but um, they make some pretty impressive watches. The Reef, uh, the Essence, these are really awesome watches with a lot of attention to detail. There's little details on their watches that literally set them apart from every other micro brand out there, and that's why they really are micro independent brands. Now, these are Swiss made like all the rest of their watches. These get a Salita SW200. They're actually pretty slim for having an automatic movement. These are field watches. As I mentioned, you're getting really beautiful dials on here and they're sandwich dials. I think all of them are getting old radium. There might be one that does not, but the two that they have sent me for review do have old radium. This is sort of a blackish gray dial with that old radium sandwich dial. And then this is a green dial with that same sort of color loom. I really love this green dial, but the black dial is awesome as well. I like the strap on the, on the black dial a little bit better, um, but either way, they are pretty awesome colorways. And uh, I think they're coming out with a few other colorways. One I think is a purple color, which is pretty cool as well. Um, titanium cases that are all sandblasted. So the titanium crown, titanium case is all sandblasted. You definitely see the DNA from their essence. You see the DNA from the, uh, the reef in these cases as well. You still have these angular areas. It is all sandblasted. It is all titanium. You have a very cool case back on here, which is sort of like a honeycomb case back. Just information about the watch. It says field watch. That's what it's called, field watch. Very simple. You have quick release on the strap. Now, this comes either on a leather strap or a nylon strap. The nylon strap, I believe, is like a Velcro strap. That's the cheaper of the two options, and we'll get into reasons why. I would actually go with the leather strap. In fact, I would probably get the nylon and then add on the leather strap with this buckle. This buckle is amazing. It is literally amazing. I love the buckles that they send over. Um, every single time I'm impressed with their products. Um, you know, I recently visited them at the uh, Wind Up Watch Shop Fair here in New York and they showed me the reef that has the interchangeable bezel. That was just something that they were sort of looking at their watches and they thought of a way to improve it, make it more versatile, let you have a choice of how you want your watch to look different from day to day. You can get different bezels on it. That's a brand that is thinking. Uh, and that's why, again, I call them a micro independent brand because they are making things at a different level. Uh, screwed and crown on here, you get 150 meters of water resistance. Very quickly, I'm gonna do some measurements. I'm gonna do it on the black dial very quickly. And then I'm gonna show you uh, sort of a trick that the strap does, well, really the actual buckle um, in just a second. So they say this is a 41 millimeter watch. I actually measure it, it at 40 millimeters. So I'm not sure where they got 41 millimeters. That's what I saw on their press release, but I've measured it a few times and I keep on getting 40 millimeters, just about 40 millimeters. So actually 39.5 at the bezel. Uh, let me get a better grip on that bezel. So 40, yeah, so 39 millimeters at the bezel. Uh, and then at the case itself, like I said, I'm getting 40 millimeters. So basically this is 40 millimeters. You do have um, lugs that are sort of um, not hooded, but there is like a little area of extra case in between the lugs, so it's sort of a design cue. Um, and there's a little bit of a lip in here as well, which is pretty interesting. I'll do close-ups of all that. Uh, the lug-to-lug -lug is 
47.9 and then the thickness is actually a very thin 10.3 millimeters considering this is 150 meters of water resistance that's really good crown on here uh, 6.9 millimeters 6.8 which is a decent size for the size of the actual uh, case and then I think these are 20 millimeters I want to say the lug span uh, let me see here yeah, 20 millimeters, it's uh, just about 20 millimeters, I think. Yeah, 20 millimeters exactly, so there you go. Um, you get syringe hands on here, and those are filled with the same loom that is in the dial, and then you have a date there above the six o'clock, um, and uh, the same thing on the green. There is a color match to the date, uh, excuse me, the date is color match to the indices, so you're getting that sort of creamy color on the actual date wheel it is a black date wheel um, so on the green you're getting a black date wheel with that color match to the actual indices which is really nice as well so uh, i kind of like that it looks really good and there's a step to that as well because there is a step in the whole entire dial because it is a sandwich dial uh, price on the nylon strap is 690 dollars which i think is a very good price for a Swiss made field watch in titanium with a Salida SW200 from a brand like Formex who are really uh, a little bit nicer of a brand as I've said, a little bit of a step above. But the thing I wanted to show you is, is the carbon composite um, uh, buckle on here. So this is a carbon composite buckle. This part is actually in bead blasted stainless steel, I believe. It could be titanium, but I thought this was in stainless steel. Uh, if, if that is different, I will put a comment down below. But when you click it closed, there you go. You have it. It is in the holes that you have chosen to put it in. When you throw it on your wrist, um, it may fit you perfectly. It may not. Now, a lot of straps, if you guys are familiar with uh, deployment buckles you sometimes you know you get a good fit sometimes you don't depending on the size of your wrist you may need the hole to be over just a few millimeters to get a perfect fit that's the same thing with a tang buckle it's the same thing with a traditional buckle um, no matter what you're not going to be able to move those holes what they have done is created a system on here that basically allows you to not move the holes but to move the actual keepers on the strap so this right here as you could see is double keeper so there's like a double um button hole that you put these into the two holes so it stays very secure on your wrist um but there's a button on the side here it's just a little button that allows you to move this and there are a few different positions here so you could actually get a very very good fit and i'll do a close-up of that because basically what this does is gives you really good micro adjust not okay micro adjust really good micro adjust on a strap very simply done now i've seen micro adjust on strap buckles before on deployment buckles before but nothing this simple and this elegant this is extremely simple and it gives you the ability to really fit something to your wrist perfectly with the strap that is pretty cool there you go. I mean, that's pretty cool. Now, uh, this watch on this strap with this buckle is $860. So yes, you're paying more money for it, but that is really not a bad price. You know, considering what you're getting, the adjustability, a really nice leather strap, I think it's definitely worth it in my opinion. Um, screwing crown, screwing case back, 150 meters of water resistance, a very versatile watch. Um, and a very good looking watch. I really do like the look of this watch. Um, very quickly, let me throw it on my wrist. Now, uh, I really do sing the praises of Formax because I really do love the brand. Uh, I've met the owners. I think that they do a really good job and they really care about their watches. That's why uh, I'm really into, they don't support me in any way. They don't provide me anything. Um, I just really am a fan of their brand. From when I was very, very young, one of the First watches that my dad actually purchased for me was a Formex, and that's kind of a connection that I have to them. But other than that, uh, you know, I have no reason to really sing their praises except for the fact that I do love them. Anyway, today I am wearing my Seiko SBDC061, one of the best dive watches that I have ever owned. Uh, really just an incredible watch. I haven't worn it in a long time, and I have fallen back in love with it. Uh, I've gotten some Seikos in for review, some SLA Seikos, and, uh, you know, this is sort of a baby version of that SLA. 
Um, I do want to get that SLA eventually. I think they're they're pretty awesome. Any SLA, really, the, even the 45 millimeter. Um, but this is just a pretty cool watch. It's really well made and um, just isn't it? It's it's just a classically good looking watch. Anyway, very good looking watch. Very light watch. These are very very light. So there you go. And you can see I have this a little bit loose, uh, but that's how I like to wear it. Just a little bit loose, so it sits on my wrist right where my sort of the, I don't know what you call this thing right here, this knuckle thing. Now, I just like to sit on top of that for whatever reason. I just feel more comfortable when that's, uh, that happens and, and, and when I'm wearing a strap, even when I'm wearing a, a bracelet for, for, mo for the most part. Um, and, I, and I like to be able to flex my wrist without it digging into my, um, my hand. So uh, at a 40 millimeter watch, even though this has a pretty big crown, it's not gonna dig into my uh, wrist very much at all, but you could see, on my 40, on my seven and a half inch wrist, this is a uh, 40 millimeter watch, uh, and it has a 10.5 millimeter thickness. Is, I think is what I uh, measured before. Really awesome wearing watch. Very very light um, and very adjustable, so it fits your wrist really very well. So this is the green dial. I also have the black dial here. Um, I'm going to just throw that on my wrist very quickly, so you can see it. Uh, I really like the strap on here. It's just sort of like a camel colored strap it's very very soft uh, i think this is probably the colorway i would go with um, maybe the green I, I think i like this i'm not sure i'm a little bit torn but um i definitely want to own a formex i want to have a formex in my collection again uh, because i really do love their watches uh, and i really love this strap i love the the uh the little option that they give you with the adjustability i think that's so clever and it's really well done. Uh, all in all, a very good looking watch, very light watch, um, uh, and I really do like it. But uh, uh, very quickly, let's do a loom shot because sometimes Formex have good loom, sometimes they don't. This is a sandwich dial, so hopefully this has good loom. You have like a railroad track that goes all the way around. I'm not sure if that's loomed. Obviously you have the syringe hands, you have a little lollipop, and then you have a counterbalance as well. It looks like both of those are filled with loom. Um, and then of course you have a sandwich dial. Uh, let's see what is filled with loom and what is not. Uh, and then we will wrap up the video. Well, there you have it. Very good loom on here. I'm actually very impressed. It is liberally applied on that sandwich portion of the dial. Uh, the counterbalance is even loomed on the second hand. And then you even have the lollipop is loomed. Uh, all of the indices are loomed. Then you have these little dots behind each indices. Uh, each one of the indices and then at the uh, index at 12 o'clock you have sort of um, a beaver tooth uh, index right there at the top which looks pretty cool uh, gives you orientation at the 12 o'clock obviously if you want to check the time very quickly in the dark that works super luminova obviously lo uh, liberally applied and looks really good very light titanium grade 2 titanium case um, just all in all I like the style of these watches. I like the look of these watches. Uh, I like the price of these watches, $690. I think is a really good price. Uh, from a brand like Formex, they make pretty awesome watches um, and that's a really good price. And also, uh, if you want the upgraded strap with the buckle, you know, $860. I think that's, you know, it's a significant amount more money, but I believe these straps are interchangeable with the Essence as well, the Essence 39 at least, I think. Um, so if you bought these and you have an essence, uh, you could definitely use your strap on there, uh, from, from the essence on this watch. So, uh, that's not a bad thing either. Um, all in all, really impressed with these watches and I think they will be a success. Um, and I'm glad they came out with the field watch. It seems like the popular thing to do these days. Um, and, uh, th they definitely hit it out of the park with these, but tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I'd like to hear from you guys. Uh, I think they are very nice, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, what do you think of the look of the watches? Uh, I don't know if they're offering it without that old radium. So if you don't like that look, that's something you definitely need to consider. Um, they definitely have a very modern look and at the same time, sort of a vintage appeal to them as well which is kind of hard to pull off. And I, th I think they did a pretty good job here. Uh, but like I said, tell me down below what you guys think. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. 
end. I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.